I think the crucial thing about 4G is it brings the internet onto mobiles in a way that's really usable for the first time. We, we all know that it's a little bit clunky still trying to access the web on your mobile phone. 4G really brings that kind of home broadband speed and experience onto your mobile phone wherever you are. Oh, there's no question 4G will become the standard. I mean, it's, it's you know, w well established in some other countries already, and I'm sure it will roll out through the whole of the UK in due course. Of course, it requires investment and so on as well. But the point about it is I think it can also really drive economic development as well. And here in South Wales, it's a creative hub, a lot of media organisations, it can make a big difference to them. Yeah, anything that advances technology has got to be a good thing really, hasn't it? But um, I've not tried it myself, so whether it's actually any good in terms of the product itself, I couldn't comment on really. Well, unfortunately I got the uh, iPhone 4S, which uh, isn't 4G, which is a shame. I mean, I'm not on a, the 4G network, so I've still got a 4GS, which I can't use the iPhone, so I guess quicker is better, but there's so much Wi-Fi around nowadays that I find myself sort of picking up Wi-Fi from various different bits and using it that way rather than using my own data. When you're downloading documents, uh, complicated figures, uh, you want that as quick as possible and, and this literally does that for you at your fingertips. Um, previously waiting for buffering, waiting for uh, the, the boost to come through to be able to, to download specifically larger business documents. Um, this puts this instantly at your fingers.